Hello, this is Petra O'Neill, and welcome to Wellness Wednesday. It's February 2nd, 2022. Hope you're having a great day. I was able to do a global meditation at two o'clock. So talking about all those twos is pretty magical. It's also Groundhog Day, and our Groundhog guests decided we're gonna have six more weeks of winter, which is great here because we love our snow and we're getting a big storm out here. So we'll have more skiing. And that means more spring skiing for me. <laughs> anyway, yesterday was the new moon. I will talk more about that in the sign of uh, Aquarius. I'm going to be offering a yoga class this Saturday at 10 o'clock Eastern time on Zoom. If you're interested in that, I'd love to have you and share with that. Um, speaking of astrology, the astrology between January 20th and February 19th is Aquarius. Aquarius corresponds with the legs. So today's meditation will be about grounding. I'll do a nice meditation, uh, guided meditation on grounding with breath. And this is something that we do in our long distance healing work. So you get a little preview of that. If you ever wanna work with me doing that, that's really awesome. Um, in yoga on Saturday, I'm gonna focus a little bit on the legs. So if there's anything going on with your legs, you might really benefit from this class. I will use some leg straps. Even if you don't have a strap, you could use a robe tie or something. It's just wonderful for the hamstrings. We lay down on your back, you do side to side, just circles, great for the hips. Legs up the wall is another restorative pose that we'll probably add in on. That's really awesome. Um, what I just learned recently, love when I learn new things, is Imbolic. That is also known as St. Bridget's Day. Yesterday, it symbolizes the in-between time between winter solstice and spring equinox. Awesome. So much energy going on right now, it's incredible. So I hope that you have time to stop pause and reflect. My focus this month will be on the heart and heart health, whether that's nutrition, whether that's rest, whether that is exercise, it's all about the heart. So just a quick thing about nutrition, you can look at my website, but eat the root vegetables that are around this time of year. It's so good for you, whether you make you know, roasted vegetables or soups or stews, do it. You'll so enjoy it and you'll benefit from it. Um, anyway, getting back to heart health, the exercise, rest, recovery. Some of us in the Northwest, East, cold areas, Canada, we're, we're still pushing through. Remember, this is a hibernation time. So if you wanna rest more, go to bed, rest, take it easy. But let's take a look at this sign. So our, our astrology this week, as we work with the magic of the moon and do any kind of manifestations or wishes, if you will, you want to look at the Aquarius and how that energy reflects. So I find it really kind of cool because it is still the beginning of the year, I know Valentine's Day is coming around, so there's a lot of that love energy, that fun, but make sure it's that compassionate energy for yourself. So as you let go of things and you create things, have that compassionate center so it can balance you. You know, getting back on track and making massive changes is great. They also say to take up yoga, which I found was really cute, or another spiritual practice. So hmm, perfect says it right there in my book. It's a solid time of year. Now, this moon, I don't wanna get into too much of it. I don't wanna to give too much away, but Aquarius is all about progress. So if you have some things going on, don't look back, move forward. You've got the energy to make it happen. This is, uh, Aquarius is an air sign, so it's very intellectual. So if you're feeling really connected that way, go with that energy um, and do some charitable work. It's really good for your karma. <laughs> um, anyway, that's, that's just some fun. 
So let's get comfortable for a little meditation. It's a seated meditation because we're grounding and filling. So get your feet on the floor. I'm in my massage room, so it's easy for me in my treatment room because I've got this um, little chair, so it moves around, tables here. Feet on the floor, nice long spine. So I don't have, as you see, I don't have anything to lean on. So it actually engages my hips, engages my spine, and it's fantastic, but use whatever you have, okay? Feet on the floor, close your eyes if you can, and just relax and listen to my voice as I guide you. Take a deep breath, inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, cleansing breath, releasing the day, releasing your thoughts. Take another deep breath, cleansing breath, Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Perhaps you want to set an intention and just bring that to your heart center. Feel your feet grounding you as you elongate through the spine. As you gently connect to the earth below you, imagine that you have roots, roots of awareness burrowing down into the earth. Notice what your earth is like. Notice where your roots go as they anchor you down. Take a nice deep breath, lengthen through the spine. Bring that earth energy up into your legs and pause as you notice your legs. Notice the wisdom of the body. Take another deep breath and bring that earth energy into your torso and explore there through all the organs, muscles, and bones, moving around from front to side to back to side checking in with yourself physically, mentally, emotionally. And then another deep breath as you bring that energy into the arms and shoulder and neck, right out the fingertips. And then one more breath as it comes up into your facial expression around the back of your head, the sides of your head, and then let that energy, that focus move right out the top of your head, right out your crown chakra, connecting you to above. And as you bring that energy down from above, let it just float all around you, bringing you into a pink bubble of safety and compassion, protecting you, filling you, nourishing you as you check in with your breath. Take a deep cleansing breath bringing your awareness from above you and below. Br imagine that you're bringing that energy and focus to your heart center. Maybe bring your hands there. Notice your heartbeat. Set your intention for this month or your mantra.
taking a deep breath in and releasing slowly all that doesn't serve you anymore through the breath, knowing you can always come back to this exercise to ground you and bring you resilience to your day. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful month, week, day. Look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Be well.